In today's video, I'm reviewing a 2012 Nissan Rogue. The Nissan Rogue was introduced to market in 2008 and is now in its second generation. This is part of the first generation of the Rogue that ran through 2013. Since introduction on the market, the Rogue has become the best-selling model in Nissan's lineup. I really like the exterior styling of the Nissan Rogue. I think especially within this classification of vehicle, it's got a really classy look to it, very upscale premium appearance, and also very sporty. And I think especially on this trim package, the Rogue's available in two different trim levels. They've got the base S model, and this is the top of the line SL, which adds larger aluminum wheels, painted exterior trim, and tinted glass. You'll see that it's also got some chrome accents. And just overall, I think it's got a really upscale look to it that you don't necessarily see from other entry-level compact SUVs. Of course, the very curved style of the vehicle gives it a very sporty appearance. And really, I think the thing that I like the most about it is that if you look at the overall sheet metal on the vehicle, it's just got a very clean, flowing overall appearance to it. There's not a lot of plastic. There's not a lot of, uh, you know, creases or anything. It's just got a very clean look to it. And I think it really comes together nicely on the Rogue. Now, like most other compact SUVs, they're built on platforms for smaller vehicles. With the Rogue, that's no different. It's built on the same platform as the Nissan Sentra. It's actually only 3.1 inches longer, 0.4 inches wider, and 5.8 inches taller. Really kind of odd because it looks like a much larger vehicle than the Sentra, but when you really compare the two vehicles side by side, it's kind of an illusion. They give it the appearance of an SUV, but it's really not all that large. See that we've got the chrome tip exhaust, chrome lettering, chrome strip along the rear hatch, chrome door handles, chrome strips down on the driver and passenger door here and then a little bit of chrome up front. Really just a nice balance there. It gives it a little bit of that more upscale look without being too over the top. You'll see that we've also got those chrome uh, side rails integrated into the vehicle. And then I really like this rear spoiler over that rear hatch. Again, just a nice little feature that gives the vehicle a little bit more of a premium sporty appearance. Also really like this line on the windows. Continues from the front to the back of the vehicle in a very clean aerodynamic fashion. Overall, really great looking vehicle and I really like this specific color as well. It's got a nice shine to it. Just as the exterior of the Rogue has a more premium look than some of the other offerings within this segment, the interior follows suit and the Rogue really has a pretty nice overall interior for a vehicle within this classification, especially with this SL trim package. See, so we've got the leather seats and a sports style leather wrapped steering wheel. We've got power windows, power door locks, power mirrors, power driver seat. On the steering wheel, we have controls for audio, Bluetooth, and cruise control. Nice looking instrument cluster. Center dash, you'll see that we've got a Bose audio system. So the vehicle has got a really premium sound system. A really nice feature for, again, a vehicle at this price point. On that center dash, we've also got this uh, nice audio system with a center screen that duals as a navigation screen and backup camera. We've got AM, FM radio, XM radio, CD player, auxiliary input, so you can connect a phone or MP3 player. Very intuitive system. We've got climate control air conditioning, heating, 12 volt outlet. See, we've also got heated seat for driver and front passenger. Two cup holders. We've got a button here for activating the camera. And then we've also got a sport button, which will change the throttle response, allow the vehicle to accelerate a little bit more aggressively. Center console. Up above, you see we got a sunroof. And then a little compartment here for sunglasses. Self-dimming rear view mirror. Jumping into the back seat. Fairly spacious. Pretty good leg and headroom. Quick view up front. Got some little pouches here on the back of the seats. 
restoring things. And then we can fold these seats down flat quite easily. It's got a 60-40 split there. No center armrest, which is surprising. And then coming around to the back of the vehicle, open up that rear hatch and you'll see fairly decent cargo space. Because of the slope of the vehicle, you do lose a little bit of that space that you might expect to have. So it's a little bit on the tight side. Definitely not as impressive as say the Honda uh, CRV, which has a lot more cargo space. But the trade-off is that the Rogue has a much more sporty style to it. The Rogue is available in front wheel drive or all wheel drive and comes with a single engine option. It's got a 2.5 liter four cylinder with 170 horsepower and 175 pound feet of torque. That's paired to a CVT automatic transmission and it will do zero to 60 in 8.8 .8 seconds. In front wheel drive configuration, the EPA rating is 22 miles per gallon in the city and 27 on the highway. And in all wheel drive, you'll see that drop slightly to 21 in the city and 26 on the highway. So I've gotta be careful not to go too hard on the road because it really feels like a more premium vehicle than its segment when you get in. From the exterior to the interior, it really has more of a premium feel. And then when you drive the vehicle, you expect it to drive with more of that premium feel. And in that sense, it really is more on par with the rest of the segment. I wouldn't say that it's bad within the segment, but it definitely doesn't exceed the bar. Um, it's got a little bit of a rougher ride, a little bit more wind noise than what you would get in more of a luxury vehicle. But for its classification, I think it's on par with this segment. Um, definitely not the most powerful vehicle. Zero to 60 in 8.8 .8 seconds isn't bad, but again, it's kind of middle of the road in that sense. Vehicle feels like it's struggling a little bit when you really push on the throttle and it's not necessarily the most smooth power delivery. But again, within this segment, it's definitely on par with its competition and there's nothing to really complain about it in that sense. Overall, I really like the interior of the vehicle. It's got a nice clean layout to it. Uh, you know, again, fairly premium design. I love the Bose audio system. Highly recommend getting that feature if you're in the market for a Rogue. Um, the one thing that I'd say is definitely a downside on the Rogue though are the seats. They have a very stiff feel to them. Not crazy about them. Going around corners, it really feels like I'm sitting on a piece of cardboard. Uh, definitely an area that they could improve in the Rogue. Otherwise, a really solid vehicle all around. All right, so we're gonna pull onto the highway here and give it a chance to stretch its lungs a little bit. So you can see it's a little bit harsh in terms of that overall power transfer. Again, this is an entry level compact SUV, so you don't necessarily expect it to be especially quick. But like I said, it's just one area where it's kind of on par with the segment. Not super impressive in that sense. It will get you up to speed, but it really has to work to do it. And it doesn't do it in the cleanest overall fashion. So that's a review of the first generation model of the Nissan Rogue. Overall, I really like the package that you get with this vehicle, and I think it's a really strong competitor within the segment. It's got a great exterior style to it, really has a very premium upscale look, very sporty. I like the interior as well. It's got a nice clean layout to it. And when you get one of these more premium trim packages, really has a nice level of refinement, especially with that premium Bose audio system. Powertrain's not amazing, but you get pretty good overall fuel economy. And then the available all wheel drive makes it a really great vehicle for all weather conditions. If you're looking to get into a compact SUV, I think the Nissan Rogue is definitely worth your consideration. If you have any comments or questions on the Rogue, leave them in the section below. For more car and truck reviews, subscribe to my channel. In the meantime, thanks for watching.